Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Riffs. Welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Endgame Shenanigans <laughs> Party with trying trying to get that dang Moon Lord. Yeah, with with myself and the Cirque. You're looking quite. Have you got different wings? You're looking a little bit more more sprightly. I got <laughs> I got the uh, fish run right wings. Oh, I think I think fish run. they might they they seem slightly faster. I'm not sure. Yeah, they seem to take off. A little bit faster which is nice yeah. also if you if you run out of flying power and you're like over water you just kind of skip across the surface of the water which Ooh, is pretty neat that's very neat anyway today i think that stardust dragons have already started taking out the cultists so we should probably <laughs> probably make a start on this we're going for moon lord we're going for broke it's now or never i think at this point because uh we've made all the preparations we think we can thank you <laughs> so much to everybody who's been leaving tips for us in the comments of the last couple of episodes because Oh boy, we have needed it. <laughs> Just a little bit. We, Just a little bit, yeah. But we we've done some potion hopefully farming. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. Yeah, yeah we've more potions. A little bit better arena. arena. And uh, I've got the cosmic uh, car keys from the last last episode, so hopefully we should be able to use that to our advantage. You've done some stuff to the arena now, which is slightly better for your fish run mount because oh boy, we've been trying to get the uh, the Martians to drop another set of keys, but they. They've not been doing so great at that. <laughs> no, not quite. So let's right. see. Where are our so. pillars? Vortex. Okay, Nebula is there. Okay, so they're, they're actually in different places this time. We kind of got lucky with the positions last time around. Do we want to save the Vortex for last or just go for it? The Vortex or maybe is... save Stardust for last since it's right next to... Yeah, since that one is closest to home, then that's probably the quickest way to get back. Although, you, we can just teleport back, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it just feels like, yeah, we'll be most prepared if we uh, if we take that one on last. It's probably, of all of them, one of the the least difficult. i got to make sure I've got enough mana potions as well before we, uh, we actually initiate the Moon Lord fight, because I'm just going to be going all out with the spells, and when I do that, I completely forget to uh, replenish my mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that that's not a good idea to uh, run out of potions. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> but I think magic man with no mana. Yeah, exactly. But I think we should be okay. I think at this point we've we've done all we can do. We've got all the weapons we can and now it's just down to technique, which to be honest is technique is the scary thing <laughs> for me. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't know if yeah. I have any of that. Yeah, and I think some of it just comes down to luck, too. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's all about just attack patterns and knowing what he's capable of and knowing how to avoid it all. All right. Oh, man, if I stay on the ground, I'll be getting mana stars for days over here. Oh, yeah. That's... Yes, this this pillar, definitely the, <laughs> definitely the easier one. And having homing weapons is doing so much for me right now. I'm like, I'll just fire vaguely in that direction and it'll it'll take everything out for me somewhere over there yes. yeah yeah i'm actually i'm saving my chlorophyte bullets for the moment but this vortex beater does have every once in a while it shoots a little homing bullet which is nice yeah handy that that's actually part of the weapon <laughs> looks like the shield is nearly down yep there, there. we go got it got it they, they sort of uh they lose their luster after a while. It's, it looks like it weakens, so so that's yeah. pretty handy. And there you go. we can gather up all of these. To be fair, like the fact that we're farming the solar events is going to be useful for making all of the armor and stuff after this anyway. So Yep. Yeah, once, we will need these fragments. Once we, we can also make some better potions, too. I'm getting a little low on my super healing potions. Yeah, I've got eight of those, and I had a bunch more, but I think I've, uh, I've just quick stacked them somewhere, and I wasn't sure where. <laughs> Right, off to the next pillar. Gonna be churning through them at the start of this episode, and then I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> and all of the uh, at this point, we better be. Yes, yeah, so all of the preparations and stuff. The sixteen hundredth hurtling <laughs> goes down. Wow. Yeah, you can tell how long we've been uh, messing around in this world, and you've been AFKing for everything. And evidently, mm -hmm. there's a uh, a lot of stuff has been going Speed on behind the scenes. Power. <laughs> how fast we can go. Yeah, no, that that thing is. Probably the fastest mount in the game, even though this is maybe slightly more reliable. Yeah. Oh, and this is. Yeah, it's kind of nice if I can I can just dip in the water real quick and gain that speed boost. Yeah. This is the uh, the pillar where things get tricky. 
Yeah, I might need to switch my armor. I'm still running the tiki. <laughs> for the summons, yeah, I think uh, Spectre Hood is probably ideal for me just because of the healing factor. I think I, I can't really survive for very long without that. Mm -hmm. Until I get the, uh, the nebula armor, of course. It helps that we're both here for once. I feel like whenever we've <laughs> taken this on previously, we've uh, we've turned up one after the other, and then one of us always gets taken out by the brain guys first. Yeah, that seems to be the way it goes. But now we can watch each other's backs, which is kind of handy. Oh, um. oh, yep, one got me then, but still doing all right for health. He says as he takes another hit. <laughs> uh, let's takes get more a, and more hits. Get a rainbow gun over here. There we go. Yeah, I keep going almost down, but yep, yep, then yep. your healing kind of gets me back. Nope, there it goes. <laughs> oh, okay. I will do my best while I'm over here. Wormhole to me when you can. I'm. The th the thing is this this flying saucer mount is maneuverable enough that for the majority of the time I can avoid the brain sucklers. Yeah. All right, if and I just keep flying around in like a oh, diamond. Oh, no, the same team. The diamond pattern. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, green team. Green team. Okay, I will do my best. There we go. Hey, good work. Shield is almost down. It's definitely taking hits. Throbbing. There it goes. Hey, okay, cool. One Ooh. rainbow gun later, and the Stardust Dragon just goes all <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and just take out these guys flying around us. Yeah. The fact, there that we we, go. the fact that we're keeping deaths to a minimum at this point is very promising. And look at the ground. <laughs> look at this. It's, just it's like confetti. So it's like, what's it's like the me? NPCs are having a party again. Nice. Okay, cool. So, three pillars down. We'll go over the top of our base, hit the uh, solar pillar on the far edge, and then come back on through, and then cross your fingers for us, folks. <laughs> As soon as you see the background start to change and the ominous music fades in. <laughs> yep. Okie doke. There it is. Right. <laughs> Let's <laughs> stay earthbound for the moment. And the crawlerpedes are out to play. But we know how to deal with these guys now. We're seasoned sure. professionals. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and at least at this point, we uh, we don't have quite the same place to like bottleneck them through, but there's, there's like a solar army going on over here. No, I'm not letting my razor blade typhoon get anywhere near them. All right, this is much better. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die there getting over here, but now that we got the rainbow and yeah, this is a pretty nice position. Standing in the rainbow definitely helps. The fiftieth crawl to pee, though. That's <laughs> nice. good. That's good. Now we know how to deal with them. <laughs> just sit, yeah. sit in one you place and tank. That's pretty much how you do it. I'll try and fire the rainbow over us a little bit more for. That added protection. There we go. Man, it's so nice seeing those things go past and just not have them do anything. <laughs> it's not even a threat at this point. That's just good. Leave us alone. So yeah, not to jinx it or anything, but this is giving me a little bit more hope that we can take <laughs> on Moon Lord this time. We got the strats now. Well, we got the strats for the pillars. For the That's pillars, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. If anything, That's we just need thing. a bit more. We need a bit more practice with the Moon Lord. Uh huh. So maybe, maybe it'll take a couple of fights, but we'll get him done. I've already used seven of my juicy mana potions, <laughs> so it's a good thing we topped up over there. Ouch! Make that eight. Oh, why are you going after me? Come on! I was staying on the ground. <laughs> I think a lot of these. Uh, oh, lot, I need the heals. A lot of the solar enemies are just kind of trapped in the caves under here. Yeah. <laughs> there's a few of them that are I'm just okay getting with that. they're getting picked off by the dragons because uh, they're just underground and they can't do anything about it. One more rainbow for the road. Uh Ah. That's it. Go there. <laughs> oh wow, that hurt. Ah. Oh no. Just as the pillar went down as well. I'm going to try off. and try and avoid the crawlerpedes. There we go. Ah! I'm trying <laughs> to fire a rainbow and it's not working out so so great. Ah! Uh, no! No! I don't want to be on the. I don't want to be in the air. Uh, oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm coming. Help! Oh, oh and then I just die right away. <laughs> yeah! Wow. Yeah! 
Yeah, well, Solar Pillar's still a little bit difficult, but we, we managed to get to the pillar being finished off. To be honest, the Stardust Dragons probably are still going to finish off the pillar. They're still attacking yeah, it. Yeah, they just... <laughs> if they just stay there, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's uh, buff a little bit more on the way back. I think the pillar music is probably some of my favorite from the soundtrack as well. This game has a brilliant soundtrack. I feel like it that certainly doesn't, does. <laughs> doesn't get acknowledged enough, but I find myself... I, I love that everything has, yeah, just has its own song, its own theme. I end up humming stuff from this soundtrack, like when I've been playing this game for more than five minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, some of the, the pillars just have this brilliant theme to them. Get yourself healed. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. So how's What's that armor set now? working out for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I need right. to get into a slightly more favorable position here. Trying to stay as low as I can. Okay, I'm directly underneath the pillar and trying to fire up towards it. Just so we can get rid of these guys spawning as often as we can. There we go. I think we took it down, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Otherworldly voices lingering around us and... One I, more left. I think now is the time to uh, teleport home and go stock up on potions. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Make sure you're ready. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready at all, but we'll give it a try anyway. <laughs> we have honey everywhere now. Yes. <laughs> Plenty of traps for me to fall into. Yep. <laughs> that honey traps. But yeah, no, we'll... Uh, We'll probably be okay with this. The only problem with this, as we were saying off camera, is that if uh, if you fly through the water, you get a speed boost on your mount. But if I fly through the water with mine, I lose it. Yeah. And I just dropped my Razor Blade Typhoon again. I should stop doing that. <laughs> I do not want to be in the habit of doing that. <laughs> but yeah, people said having towers, kind of hollow towers on the side, will mean you can we can dodge the uh, laser beam attack, the death ray. So chances are that will be... A useful strategy if I can remember to do it in the heat of battle I think that's my problem more than anything <laughs> is just like I lose all sense of what I'm supposed to be doing and I just panic when the moon lord shows up exactly I yeah I completely like miss all of like his movements and mm -hmm. what sort of attacks he's doing I just fly around in circles and yes shoot at him yeah. <laughs> that's usually what it devolves down into i don't yeah. think oh he's doing this i should do that it's yeah. just fly around we got we got to be very calm and zen for this and uh that, zen. that doesn't happen all that often so anyway let's uh <laughs> let's do this while we've still got the uh the stones to do it let's go take on the stardust uh, pillar and uh moon lord it up moon lord yeah man if if we don't do it this time i I honestly don't know how I'm going to feel about <laughs> trying again. <laughs> May as well call the series here. He's never going to beat us. <laughs> but no, I think we will... Uh... Just cheat in some endgame armor and then we'll <laughs> beat him. I think we'll do okay. I think we'll do okay. I'm not saying we're going to beat him, hands down, because we all know where uh, saying stuff like that has gotten us in the past. But, <laughs> but you know what? I think a couple of Stardust Dragons in tow, all the potions we can carry, and some decent weapons... We'll have a chance. I think we'll have a chance. <laughs> the sense of foreboding at this point. <laughs> I feel like we're, just... we're both like holding our breath, being like, is this going to be it? Are we going to do it? This is the end. Mm. But I feel like the challenge of stuff like this still being like kind of fresh. Like once you've beaten the Ender Dragon in Minecraft, it doesn't feel like such a momentous thing anymore. Even yeah. fighting, fighting the Wither after you've done it a few times and you know the cheeses for it and everything seems to have lost its flair, but somehow the Moon Lord is still so much of a challenge in this game after however long it's been introduced. It's been a few years now. <laughs> it certainly is, yeah. They definitely, uh, you need to pull out all the stops to to make it happen. And they balanced Unless it pretty well. Super, super good. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you beat an enemy, you can kind of see this little ray of, this beam of light that transfers back to the shield that weakens it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's little details like that that I never really notice in amongst the firework display of everything that's going on. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So you can kind of see the progress you're making. The 50th Twinkle Popper! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love those mob names. Sounds like something from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. There we go. There we go. Okay, here it is, folks. 
<laughs> man, look at the damage. Look at that damage happening. All right. All right. Impending doom uh... approaches <laughs> one more time. Zing. Let's, uh, head back. Let's quick stack some stuff. Let's not quick stack the potions. And that's... <laughs> Yeah, make sure that you should just favorite those. Yeah, doing all of them now. Okay, I think I've got everything I needed. Why do I have a bunch of Dynasty wood? Did you drop some? <laughs> I think I probably did, yeah, from uh, <laughs> doing stuff over at the arena. Okay, right, let's, let's switch out my chlorophyte bullets and chlorophyte arrows. Let's get refresh all the, the buffs. buffs now. I think I'm good staying with the Spectre Hood. I don't think I'll be able to change in the heat of battle. No. Don't know if I trust myself to do that. Let's fire Let's a frost hydra. Fire a rainbow cause... over this whole arena. If I can. Okay, the silence is here. Uh, you ready to buff? Yeah. <laughs> and let's do it. Just hang out in the honey. And buff. And here we go. Alright. Six hundred life. What I gotta do. <laughs> the most life we have ever had. And oh my days. And he's, he's got a lot more than that. A lot more than that. <laughs> He's dropping stuff everywhere. He is leaving. Oh, oh the beams, the laser beams. Oh, okay. I got hit by it that time. Going to heal up. Okay, okay. Problem is I can hardly even see these towers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are very dark. They're pretty Should dark. Should use uh, some Martian conduit. Yeah. All the Martian nice and conduit bright. that we got. Okay, I'm hiding. Oh, no. I was hiding in the tower. What happened? I think I was just too uh -oh. close to the side of it. <laughs> Uh oh, right. Well, that's, uh, that's the, disappointing. It's the beginning of the end for me, <laughs> but I'll be back soon. Looks like his hands are actually pretty low on health, so keep on him, dude. Keep on him. I will try. <laughs> I think you're doing pretty oh. well for speed there, and he managed. You managed to block his death ray for a second, so a little bit. It's all good. Hello. It's all good. Stay alive. Heal up uh. if you can. I'm almost back. Okay, I'm back. Cool, cool. Nice. I need to. I need to go see the nurse. I need to heal up. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this like that. Okay, let's ah. buff. Okay, okay. I am I'm back in action, doing what I can. I need to heal up. No, it's just the tag ah. team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just teleported by mistake. That was not good. Oh, his. I think his core is out. I think his core. No, no, no. Wait, one of the eyes is out. That's the uh, the weird Watch thing. Ah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. Heal, oh, heal. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't. Oh, I'm let me back. Let me back. Ah, Please. so much stuff happening on the screen. Oh, I can't concentrate. Okay, good. You're back. You're back. You're back. Take some time to heal up. I think I'm doing okay. He's going to get the death ray on in a second, though, and I'm not going to survive that. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh, man. The good thing about dying with 600 health is you come back with 300, so it's not quite as much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're almost there, though. We're almost there. He's going pretty far away from the arena at this point. <laughs> oh, come on. Fly faster. I think I need yeah, to try sure and stay above him, him if I can, because he always casts that death ray kind of down towards you. Mm -hmm. I need to try and stay above the arena and keep out of the way with my um, with my UFO mount. Going to do my best. Oh, speed boost, yes. <laughs> I'm back, by the speed way. Speed boost getting away from the... Death Ray. I'm... Okay, I'm hooked. Sort of staying alive. I just got hit by some beam. Sort of staying alive. My favorite song from the Bee Gees. <laughs> Come on, keep that eye open, please. Oh, what am I getting hit by? I'm getting caught. Heal. I don't even know where he is at this point. Where are you? <laughs> Down below. Okay, okay. I've, I've got you. I've got you. Man, that eye is so annoying. Ow! Okay, he does shoot it upwards. Oh, Good to I'm know. Dead. Careful. Good to know. Do my best to stay out of his way. You have to, if you have to, just run. Yeah, doing my best at that. But I'm back. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely running at this point. Oh, being able to stay away from his eye. He's glitching out for me so that his health bar is in like the wrong place. Is okay, it? I got hit. I got hit. I'm down. Okay. I might need to fish out some more potions at this point, but he is he is pretty close to uh, second phase, I think. I think I might have to switch out to the weapons that do more damage. I think Razorblade no, Typhoon just isn't we doing don't got this. quite I... as much. 
Such low health right now. Oh no, stay alive, stay alive. I'm nearly back. I've been dead for so long. You've taken him so far away from the arena that the uh, the background <laughs> is back to normal. That's so funny. Okay, okay, I'm <laughs> it back. It just keeps like teleporting to me. Yeah, but I'm, I'm healing as I'm flying away, which yes, is nice. That's absolutely the best oh, strategy. Oh, but he just hit me. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. You're back. Yes, I don't have. I think he's in second phase. Maybe. I don't have any buffs or anything, but I'm back. I don't know where I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he's uh, coming Looks to like me, I'll be east. back here soon. Okay, I'll try and bring him back to the arena. Yep, okay, he's... I, I'm getting eyes and stuff around here, so he's definitely here. Okay, you're right there. Hi! <laughs> yes, okay, his core is out. His core is out. We could get him. Uh, okay, I just got... Uh, got stuck on the tree! <laughs> the tree that we built for our house. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, this is going to take me a while. Yeah, get, get away from him as long as possible. That <laughs> sucks. Oh, boy. You're doing well. You're doing really well at staying away from him. I think that's the problem at this point, is now we've got to just kite him from one end of the map to the other if we can. <laughs> like, that seems to be a pretty good strategy right oh, now. No, no. Stay alive. On. Stay alive. Oh, oh no. He... Oh, I just saw you get down to one health. Come on. Yes, okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Okay. Seeing the nurse again. Be nice if he didn't teleport to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of useful, huh? Oh, and then I died. Okay, right. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't going to go well for me. Ah, uh, okay. I'm a, I'm inside a pillar. Oh, he's so close to dead, though. He is so close. Oh, come on, <laughs> this is the the longest and craziest Moonlord fight I've been in. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm healing up. Come I'm on, healing up. Let me in. Yep, you just healed. That was good. Going down a little bit. Uh, oh, oh, come on. He's I'm almost that back. I'm back. Tongue out at me. Okay, if you're back, Buff. good. I think this is the last of my potions. Okay, I'm I'm doing what I can to shoot at him. I'm coming towards you. You're very far away. Yes, I know. I know. But <laughs> I'm dra dragging him good. all over the map right now, and I have no idea if I'm even hitting him with any of this stuff. But I'm flinging everything I've got at oh. him. Yep. Okay. He's so close. Yeah, he is. He's really, really close right now. Oh man, I'm <laughs> I'm so he died. We got him. You got him. Oh my gosh. I think so. He's taking a long time to die, but I think I got him. Oh gosh, I need to be there. <laughs> <sighs> Moon Lord has been defeated. Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, well done. You did like 90% of that, I'm telling you. Like I, I was just, I was running and flinging magic at him that whole time. Like, I'm actually, I'm kind of happy that I had this fish round mount rather uh, than the car keys because, yeah. like, he I, he would hit me every once in a while, and you get that speed boost, and I was able to just outrun him. I mean, he, he would teleport to me, and but as long as he didn't teleport to me and then odd like right away do some sort of laser beam or something, I'd be fine. You're, hopefully, you have a treasure bag. I have a treasure bag. Yes. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! All right, open. Let's and do this. I got a terrarian. Nice. I got an SDMG, a suspicious looking tentacle. I got a portal gun. I got a portal gun as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you do the... How, how do portal gun work? <laughs> it's not like control do... or alt or anything. I'm I'm so confused. Oh, wait, no, it is right Some... click. Sometimes it's not... Wait. Yeah, it's, it's definitely right click. There we go. Oh, okay, now it's working. It's like you can't. Maybe you can't change them very quickly. Or oh, I bet you need a, a nice flat surface. That's why it's not working all the time. There <laughs> we go. Yeah, this is so, so disorienting and so much fun. <laughs> oh boy, Wait, uh, and, and luminite fall. as well. Let's not forget that. And luminite. Yes, we can hopefully make some armor. This is. Although I'm just gonna sit here. This is exciting. <laughs> just seeing you, just you <laughs> teleporting around on the map. Oh, oh, okay, so that was ridiculous. Wow, wow, that, wowzers! That that was that was pretty epic. I got to say, like like you said, he really makes you go all out for that. But but we did it. We I did got it. some luminite bars. I got twenty five. Twenty two here, and I have three luminite left. So what can we make with this? Uh, oh my goodness me. Okay, yes. So Stardust stuff, Vortex, Nebula. There's another Luminite Ore. Awesome. And thankfully it really does not take all that much Luminite to make the armor. 
I got the uh, suspicious looking tentacle. Finally, a new light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my wisp. I like my wisp. He's, he's, he's done me proud. Um, he, he matches my color scheme. It's very nice. <laughs> very cool. So, yeah, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and make the nebula helmet. Nebula breastplate. Nebula leggings. Oh, boy. Okay, 11 Luminite left. <laughs> <laughs> but 14 defense as opposed to 10 defense on the leggings there. This is, this is a massive increase. Like... Okay, I, I need to take all of the Spectre stuff out of my my vanity. Oh, that's well. right. The uh, the 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 light, the suspicious looking tentacle, it makes mm. uh, any treasure and stuff uh, sparkle. Oh, it does. It's working for me as well because I'm close to you. Oh, nice. That's really fun. So you can actually kind of it's like a free Spelunka, like the Spelunka glow sticks that you get that aren't like the full uh -huh. reveal the ore kind of things, but it makes stuff sparkle. <laughs> oh man, I have seventy one defense now. That's nice. <laughs> I was I was working with I don't know how much. I was working with like forty something before. Seventy one. Like the, the Nebula helmet has fourteen <clears> defense <throat> as opposed to the Spectrehood having six. <laughs> so I'm pretty set up at this point. I think I'm good and That's pretty alright. Hurting enemies has a chance to spawn buff boosters and you can pick them up to get stacking buffs. So it doesn't have the healing effect anymore like the Spectre Hood does, but it's got like, you just get random buffs throughout a fight. Yeah. That's really nice. Is yeah, there... Cool. How much Luminite is left? Uh, there is 11 left and a little bit of ore. Do you put it... Oh, you put it in here. Yeah, okay. it's all in that chest. So, uh... So, yeah, to get some more some more armor sets, we're probably going to have to fight the Moon Lord another couple of times, but I feel slightly better about so. that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like I can make the helmet... Are you going Which ranger or are you going summoner? Uh, summoner. Uh huh. Because yes, yeah, I have. I think that's gonna be my main. I have this for a uh, a ranger. Although, yeah, I don't have any ammo for it, but I've got the uh, the SDMG. Oh, that's right. So if you think that might be worth using in another fight against Moon Lord, then maybe you can give that a go until you've got the full summoning kit. So yeah, it seems like having an arena like this for Moon Lords isn't quite so effective as just running all over the map for him. <laughs> <laughs> but Yeah, uh, it, it came in handy a couple of times. There were some times where I was able to block the laser, but most of the time... Just run across like, the entire world. Just keep flying. <laughs> <laughs> just keep flying. Just keep moving. Right, well... I mean, you have the mounts. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think the fish run one is probably the way to go. I used up a lot of bullets. <laughs> yeah, I have the SDMG. I I had ninety nine mana potions before we took on the Stardust Pillar. I now have forty eight. <laughs> <laughs> so I've used fifty in the course of of both of those fights. That's yeah, I used that's a lot. I used about seven hundred bullets <laughs> nice. in there. But this SDMG, it doesn't have any modifiers. It's 102 range, da range damage versus the Vortex Beater, which was only 73. Nice. That's that's pretty great. And it's also insanely fast versus very fast. Indeed. So if I could uh, reforge this, that would be fantastic. That's going to be phenomenal, yeah. In terms of... Yeah, I don't know if I can really do much else in the way of reforging my gear. I... I don't know if there's any magic weapons that are... Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get to the house and I went through the portal. I don't know if there are any magic weapons that are better than this at this point. Um, with Luminite stuff, you can you can make like the end game, you know, pickaxes and stuff, can't you? But there's no, yeah. real, no real need to. You can have solar wings <laughs> <laughs> to accompany that. The Vortex Booster. What is the Nebula one of those called? Nebula Mantle. Nice. And that's uh, 10 more Luminite, so I won't make that yet because I want to save some for you. <laughs> but yeah, one more Moon Lord fight and we should have enough to make you a decent set of armor as well. So so maybe that's something we can do next time. I think so. See, see yeah. how well we do. Get a bit of Moon Lord <laughs> farming on the go. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's where we're at now, which is pretty exciting. Yes, very exciting. And then... Uh, I really want to put together one of the um, 
the drill mount things because I've never yes. used them before, and those are we need, crazy we need looking. Those. <laughs> so that's so that's definitely still a couple of episodes in our future. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Terraria. Leave a like if you're happy that we finally defeated the Moon Lord, <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to myself and the Cirque for more Terraria action. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.